hope the special lift you get this holiday season lasts all year long. Happy Holidays from Eaton Park. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true, waiting there for you. Jack and I'm all right. Is the season to make money? Wah, la 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 la. Hi, schemer. Hey, kids. Your old pal schemer's in an exceptionally good mood today. Besides collecting my money from my machines, check this out. Who'll be Santa's helper? The Indian Valley Christmas Committee will pick one lucky contestant to be Santa's helper for our gala holiday pageant. All decisions are final. Well, kids, do you know who they're going to pick this year to be Santa's helper? Me. <laughs> it was a part I was born to play. And when they choose me, I just might accept. <laughs> now get out of here while I'm collecting my money, huh? Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Excuse me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Harry's cousin, Tucker Cooper, senior locomotive engineer. Harry was transferred to Twidley Junction last month, and I'm helping out for the holidays. Remember? Who authorized this? You authorized it, Mr. King. Oh. Well, yes, of course I did. Keeping up the family tradition. Excellent, excellent. As superintendent of the Indy Valley Railroad, allow me to be the first to welcome you to Shining Time Station. Thanks. <laughs> now, tell me, have you met Mr. Conductor yet? Mr. Conductor? He's a tiny fellow, real short, about, uh, about this tall. I have a little present for him. No. No, I can't say I've seen anybody looking like that. Never mind. He's been here already. He has. <laughs> I hope he liked his present. <laughs> it sure is busy around here. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? Oh, that's why it's my favorite time of year. Because we all get presents? Oh, yeah, that's part of the map. I think it's my favorite time of year because when I see people hurrying through the station, I know that there's going to be someone waiting for them when they get off the train. And maybe that's why everybody's in such a rush and it's so busy around here. Because everybody wants to get together on the holidays. But there's nothing else for us to do. We've already helped clean up the station. Nothing else to do, huh? Have you guys written to Santa to tell him what you want for Christmas? He already knows. Oh, well, it never hurts to put it in writing. Here. Here you go. Oh. Hello, Shining Time Station. Stacy Jones speaking. I'm going to tell Santa Claus to get here sooner. I'm going to tell him to get here today. Yeah, me too. I know. Let's have some music to write letters by. We've just been re-employed to do a musical thing. A one and a two and a three. Sweet. 
go The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh Through the white and drifted snow Join along here, Rex Over the river and through the wood Oh, how the wind does blow It stings your toes and bites the nose It's over the ground we go Is the North Pole, Alaska? The North Pole's not in Alaska. The North Pole's in the North Pole. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Miss Jones, Miss Jones? Yes, what An is it? Utter catastrophe has befallen our town. Due to circumstances far beyond my control, the committee to select Santa's helper for the Indian Valley Gala Holiday Pageant has no place to meet this evening. Oh, Mr. Mayor, how can I help? I thought you would never ask Miss Jones. Oh, the committee has unanimously decided to hold their meeting here tonight. Oh, here? At Chiming Time Station? Are you sure you want to have the meeting here? Oh, yes, I'm positive. I knew it would make you happy, Miss Jones. Oh, so thank you. Thank you from the very finger. bottom, bottom of my heart. Oh, yes, I knew we could come. Oh, here's the speech I was supposed to give to the honored pilgrims against pie pies. Huh? Do you think anyone will have noticed? We'll talk later, when you're old enough to vote. Uh, what? Oh, uh, pardon me. Uh, Shining Time Station. It's Stacy Jones speaking. How can Stacey. I... Stacy, not now. Can't you see I'm on the phone? Yes. How can I help you? Everybody's so busy. Do you think when everybody acts real busy, it makes time go slower? Yeah, it feels like Christmas is never gonna come. And how are we supposed to address these letters to Santa? Santa Claus, North Pole. Mr. Conductor, I should have known it was you. Hello, Matt. Hello, Tanya. Thanks for giving us the right addresses. No trouble at all. I've written to him before. Have you ever seen Santa? Well, there was the, that one time I stayed up. I was determined to see him, but sleep is a powerful force. I fought it and fought it. I even threw cold water in my face. And what happened? Well, I got soaking wet. No, no, with Santa Claus. Did you see him? In a word, I can't really remember. Probably not, no. But he came. But if you just sit around waiting, Christmas will seem to take forever to arrive. Why don't you go outside and build a snowman? The snow is already up to here on me. Let's make one that looks like Santa. Hey, wait, you two. Don't forget your hats and mittens. We don't need them. Oh, you don't, don't you? That's what Thomas said about his snowplow. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah. Would you tell us that one again? Very well. <whistles> Thomas saw that everyone has something special to offer. And that's why everyone is special. But once in a while, a special person doesn't know she is special. What do you mean? I mean what I said. And if you wait long enough, you'll see what I mean. Oh, I almost forgot. What about our letters to Santa? I'll send them for you. Express mail. Wow! 
Oh, there's Mitch Smoot. Don't tell her a secret. She's sure to leak it. Hello, Stacy. Oh, hiya, Mitch. Has the train from Chubby Corners arrived yet? I'm expecting a present. Oh, all the trains are running late because of the snowstorm. Oh, and I've got so much to do. I've got to go to Twiddly Junction to pick up my Christmas goose. Then I have to hurry back to String Popcorn. Then I have to come back over here for the Indian Valley Christmas Committee meeting. All right, well, here's your ticket to Twiddly Junction. And Mitch, here's some mistletoe for you. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> There's just never enough time. Stacy, did you know that the Christmas committee still hasn't picked anyone to play Santa's helper for the holiday pageant? Mm. Oh, I can't imagine who it will be. Can you? Oh, no, I have no idea. I didn't think so. Well, I'll just go over here till my train arrives. I'll be back for my present. And Stacy, just a moment. Hello, Shining Time Station. Stacy Jones speaking. Oh, hi, Claire. Oh, he, oh, you want to bring Vicky here this afternoon? No, no. Oh, sure, no problem. Uh, okay. Glad to be of some help. I'll see you in a little bit. What is your problem, Vicky? She's horrible. Oh, she's not horrible. Yes, she is. She's mean and nasty and selfish and rude. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, come on. Nobody can be that bad. Vicky Chan! Oh, now, come on, you guys. She must have some good qualities. Think about it. Well, no. Come on, you two. Well, both her eyes are the same color. Oh, that. She never threw up on me. Tanya! Well, she does have a pretty good singing voice. Great! Then you can sing carols together. No, she never does anything you tell her to. Yeah, and she never smiles, even when you say something funny to her. All right, listen, you guys. I told her mother that she can come here and play, so I want you to be nice to her, okay? Will Santa know we've been nice? Oh, yeah, Santa will know. And so will Vicky. I hope. Schemer, what are you doing? Look at this mess! I can explain, Miss Stacy Jones. As I'm going to be playing the part of Santa's helper, I thought it appropriate that I get a really fat tummy so I can look the part. You Santa's helper, ho, ho, ho. Hey, that ho, ho, ho will turn to oh, oh, oh when you see my Santa's helper's costume. My mommy made it. You're going to wear a costume? That's neat. Matt man, Schemer doesn't wear a costume. He wears a concept, an advertising concept. You want to see this thing, Matt. On the back of my costume, there's a big sign that says, Santa says, Give your money to Schemer. <laughs> hey, hey, what's the matter? You think it should be a little more punchy? Oh, Schemer, you know, you've had some nutty ideas in the past, but this one takes the cake. Oh, cake. I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me, Miss Stacy Jones. Schemer, you know, being Santa's helper is a lot more than wearing a costume with an advertisement on your back. It's what's inside that counts. So what's the matter with having cake inside? Oh. I don't mean what's inside your belly. I mean what's inside here, in your heart. Oh, Santa's helper has to be just like Santa Claus, somebody who's kind. That's me. Generous. That's me. Thoughtful. That's me. Whose name isn't Schemer. All right, Miss Smarty Pants, who do you think should play Santa's helper? How about Stacy? Stacy Jones? <laughs> That's a good one. How can she play Santa's helper? She's a girl. Oh, yeah? Where does it say that a girl can't play Santa's helper? Hey. Who okay, cares? So I'm gonna get the committee to vote for me anyway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get the committee to vote for me. Yeah. 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 Ah. I'm the smartest one around here. The only one that can play Santa's helper anyway. Oh. Mm. My mommy makes good cake. Here it is. Oh, it just arrived on the rainbow, sir. A tree. Oh. Smells great. Oh. It's mm. colder than the North Pole out there. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as cold as the North Pole. Oh, oh Stacy, meet <clears throat> Mr. Nicholas. Mr. Nicholas. Uh -huh. He was kind enough to help me lug this part of the woods in here. Oh, it's a lovely tree. Thank you. You're Stacy Jones. Well, it's good to see you again, Stacy. <laughs> oh, have we met before? Oh, many times. You probably don't remember. 
No, I knew you when you were just a little girl. Oh. Your grandmother ran this station. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you used to have a doll named Betsy. Yes, <laughs> Betsy. Yeah. I forgot all about her. You carried Betsy everywhere you went. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't remember you. No, don't that bother you. No, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yes, well, what brings you to Shining Time Station? I'm here to catch the Northern Star. The Northern Star? Yep. Oh, excuse me, Tucker. Do you know of a train called the Northern Star? Not on this line, I don't. Oh, excuse me, but... Are you sure you're at the right station? Oh, positive. Uh, I'll just wait over there until she arrives, if you don't mind. Mm. I'll tell you, there's something strange about him. Maybe, but he really believes there's a train called the Northern Star. You know, maybe Mr. King scheduled a new train and didn't tell us about it. I'm going to call him. What if he hasn't? What are we going to do with Mr. Nicholas? I don't know. Maybe Mr. Nicholas doesn't have any place to go for the holidays. Hmm. No, Vicky, you can't come with me, honey. Look, I got too much shopping to do. You'll be bored. Hi, Stacy. Oh, hi, Claire. I'm really grateful for this. Honey, now you remember Stacy Jones, don't you? She runs this station. Hi, Vicky. You remember this is Matt and Tanya. Okay. Remember, remember. Am I supposed to be a memory machine? No, no. Look, honey, have a nice time here and be a good girl, okay? Bye-bye. Thanks a load for leaving me at a train station. Oh, M Mommy, I'll be back in a little while. <sighs> she was supposed to go and sing with the calendars, and then at the last minute she changed her mind. She has such a lovely voice, but I don't know, we never get to hear it anymore. <sighs> Stacy, thanks. <laughs> Bye. I like your sweater. This thing, my mother made it for me. I think I look stupid in it. What do you like to do for Christmas? I don't like Christmas. It's boring. The only fun part is getting presents. Vicky! Honey, how would you like to help decorate the tree? I don't care. You don't care? Well, then I'm going to put you right to work. Here are the decorations. There's the tree. Go for it. What is this supposed to be? That's Pudgy the snowman. I made him last year. This is a snowman? Be careful with that. You could have broken it. No big loss. Genius time, genius time. Well, a festive job calls for a festive song. Okay, sing it for Schemer, baby, yo! Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh helper. <laughs> Has a certain ring to it, don't you think? Uh, Miss Jones? Yes, sir? I'm afraid this snowstorm looks bad. If it gets any worse, we'll have to stop the trains. <gasps> I see most of the passengers have left already. 
What train is that gentleman over there waiting for? That's the man I called you about, Mr. King. He's waiting for a train called the Northern Star. I'll straighten this up. Okay. Excuse me, sir. There's no train called the Northern Star that stops here or anywhere else on the Indian Valley Railroad. Well, I'll take my chances. Northern Star has never been late yet. I wouldn't be too sure of that if I were you. Oh, I'm sure of it. Just like I'm sure that when you were a little boy, you collected ships inside of bottles. Well, I'll be. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you line them all up on a shelf in your bedroom, huh? Yes, I did. <laughs> well, they were beauties, those ships. Sure were. <laughs> I wonder whatever happened to them. Ah, Mr. J.B. King, Esquire, exalted head of the Indian Valley Railroad. My favorite. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? What is it, Schemer? Well, I uh, understand that you were on the committee that's going to pick Santa's helper for the holiday pageant. That is correct, Dustin. Well, then I feel it is my duty to inform you about some flaws in my opponent's character. Flaws in Miss Jones's character? Did you know that she trains rats? She trains rats? Why? Why? Uh, uh, to steal cheese. To steal cheese because she's so fond of cheese sandwiches. Yes. Uh, now that's something to be considering when you're voting on who should be Santa's helper. After all, do you want a, uh, a rat training cheese thief? Or somebody who's honest and wholesome and good and cute? Someone like uh, me, for instance. <laughs> Santa's help. Well, that's a very responsible position. And I'm the one to fill it. Miss Jones. Yes, sir. I have some extremely urgent business to take care of. Keep an eye on that passenger over there until I get back. Yes, sir. Hey, you don't do it like that. Maybe you don't. But I do. Vicky, just quit it. Why don't you do something else? Yeah, why don't you just go away? What's wrong, Vicky? Oh, it don't get me that bad, can it? Oh, can it? They don't want to play with me. Oh, I see. Well, must be other children for you to play with, huh? I don't play much with other kids. They always want to play some silly game. Well, what's wrong with playing silly games? Some of the best games in the world are silly games. Of course, uh, you can't play silly games unless you know how to laugh. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you doing that? I was just trying to see if I could do that. How do you do that with your mouth? Don't make it turn down like that. Is this it? Hmm? <laughs> I thought I was right. About what? You do have a smile. I don't. Yes, you do. You just did one. Pretty one, too. What makes you think you don't have a smile? People tell you that? No, I just don't smile. Well, of course, you gotta have a good reason. When was the last time you had a good reason to smile? Huh? I bet I know. Last Christmas, when you saw Santa Claus. No one ever sees the real Santa. Oh, are you sure? I'd give anything to see Santa. Would you give a smile? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> if she comes back, why don't you give her another chance? She'll just mess things up. Well, that will keep you busy, and the time will just fly by. She'll mess things up so that you can clean them up, so that she can mess them up all over again. Christmas will be here before you know it. Can I help decorate the tree? Uh, okay. Be real careful. And you start over there. Okay. Over there. 
Wow! What a neat doll! Can I play with him? No, no, no! Can I put him in the tray? Uh, okay. But you have to be real, real careful. Oh, thank you, Stacy. I already know what it is. Uh -huh. Ah, my dear Miss Smoot. Oh, my, my, my. Don't we look lovely today? Here, let me help you with this. Oh, be careful with that package, Skeeper. It is a present for my sister. I already know what it is, and it's very expensive. Ah! Uh, Miss Smoot, I was wondering if I could have a word with you alone. Uh, yes, you may. If it's very important, then you keep it brief. Uh, did you know that... Uh... Oh, no, I, I can't say it. Oh, what? Tell me, of course you can say it. Uh, well, did you know that uh, Miss Stacy Jones... Uh... No, 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 it, it's just too awful to say. That's too awful. Tell me. My lips are sealed. Schema, out oh, with it. All right, you forced me to tell you something I wasn't going to tell anybody else. But did you know that Stacy Jones, who wants to play Santa's helper, did you know that... She... Well, no, I yes. can't say it. I can't say it. What? I just can't say it. I can't. What? What? What, Schema? What? She's a humanoid. She's an alien from another planet pretending to be one of us. I... I don't... I don't know what to say. Well, in that case, say that you'll vote for Schemer to be Santa's helper. I mean, uh, after all, it's wrong to have these Martians playing these important roles when there are perfectly good human Earth beings around, like, uh, me, for instance. Schemer, have you lost what little sense you already had? I don't think so, no. The best thing you could wish for, Schemer, would be for Santa to bring you a brand new brain. Very well, Miss Smoot. But when it comes time to vote for Santa's helper, just remember who was here to help you when you needed it most. Ah! Space creature. <laughs> Ah, who cares? She'll come around eventually. I can just see the headline now. Schemer chosen to play Santa's helper. What a wise choice. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Yep, this calls for a song. And though it goes against my better judgment, it'll be my treat. Whistle blowing, bells are ringing, people coming and going, riding the trains to their destination. It's Christmas time at the railway station. Everyone smiles as they pass by. Moms and dads with their presents Piled up to the sky And the carolers sing songs of celebration It's Christmas time at the railway station Family and friends greeting each other Then hurry on their way To the homes they fill with Christmas cheer On this winter holiday And snow from town to town, all across the nation. It's Christmas time at the railway station. Maybe Vicky's not so bad after all. At least she's trying. Oh! oh Vicky! Vicky! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Mr. K, 
Conductor, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. That was quite a ride. And I don't have to be a tree ornament anymore. I'm grateful for that. Those branches were itchy. See, we never should have let Vicky near a tree. From where I was sitting and then falling, I don't think it was her fault. You just don't know her. I figured out why Santa's jolly all the time. Oh, why is that? Because he doesn't have to play with Vicky. <laughs> it's official. I've had to close the Indian Valley Railroad. Nothing is getting through that snow. I'm sorry, sir. It uh, looks like you're going to be stuck here. Oh, don't worry about me now. I'll be fine. Yes, but... <laughs> My friend, I'll be just fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, please. I've got a lot of new names and addresses to enter into my computer here. And I'd like to have it finished before the train arrives. I can't figure him out. But I like a passenger who doesn't complain. Oh, by the way, Miss Jones, did uh, he like his present? Did who like what present, sir? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it was hard finding something in his size. Oh. Well, I'll see you at the committee meeting. Yeah, of course you didn't. You ever feel that you'd like to be someone else? Yes. And if you were someone else, what would you wish for? You mean, if I were somebody else like Tanya, mm -hmm. then I'd wish for Tanya to be nice to me. And Tanya would wish that you would be nice to her, huh? That's how it works, I guess, huh? Yeah, I guess so. You know something? Ever since I arrived here at this train station, I've been wondering what's in that Nickelodeon back there. Do you know? You got a nickel? Oh, I think so far. There we are. This old train's on its way to a town by the river. You can hear the whistle blowing for many miles away. There's an old hobo standing in the train full of letters and presents wrapped in ribbons. It's coming Christmas Day. Well, he sees Old Town standing as a train keeps on passing. And he thinks back to when he was loved as a boy back in his home. And he blows on his fingers, cold and bitter from winter's weather. Just a cold and lonely hobo spending Christmas time alone. Oh, 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 oh. 
Mr. Nicholas, are some people really all alone on Christmas? Yes, Vicky, I'm afraid so. And they don't get any presents? Well, that all depends on what you mean by presents. Not every present comes wrapped in pretty paper with a ribbon and bow, you know. Sometimes a present can be just a, a smile. Or a kind word to somebody who's feeling sad. Or a poem, or, or maybe a picture that you've drawn. But they don't cost any money. <laughs> Presents don't have to cost money. <laughs> Ah, Mr. Mayor, how grand it is to see you on this fine and lovely day. There's practically a blizzard out there. What is it you want, Schemer? Uh, well, I uh, understand that you were on the committee that picked Santa's helper. Not you two. Stacy Jones, huh? J.B. Key, and even Midge Smoot want to be Santa's helper. Uh, right, but uh, you can't vote for any of them. No. Because they all smoke big, cheap, smelly cigars. Big, cheap, smelly cigars. Right. For breakfast. For breakfast? Yes, stinko ones. I find that difficult to believe. Well, that's, that's because you're not concentrating hard enough. You need to try a little harder. Perhaps these nickels will help you concentrate. What? And remember to vote for Schemer, for Santa's helper. <laughs> There, it looks better than before. But the lights still don't work, thanks to Vicky. Well, I tell you, it wasn't her fault. You'll find in life that often things go flipping over and falling down and piling up, and it's not always somebody's fault. What do you mean? Take last Christmas on the island of Sodor, for example. What happened? I was just about to tell you. I wish we could have a party like that at Shining Time Station. Maybe you can, but you won't have much of a party without any friends. Now, let's see, who can we invite? What about Vicky? I'm not mad at her anymore. Me neither. Maybe she did knock over the tree by accident. I have to find Santa Claus. Oh, I wish I could find Santa. Sounds like an emergency. I want to tell him something really important got to find him. Well, perhaps you will. Some people do, you know. Really? Do you have to be special? Well, special in your own way. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I just had to see how this was going to feel. This is what I'm going to look like when they elect me to be Santa's helper. Ho, 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 oh, little girl, little girl, how can I help you? Oh. So you'd like a doll that makes your bed, brushes your teeth, and eats your vegetables? Hey, so do I. You must be Santa's helper. Well, why not? Then you must know Santa personally. Oh. I have something really important to ask Santa. It's not for me. It's for my mom. Yeah, listen, kid, uh, before you get carried away, uh, uh, I don't really know Santa Claus personally. I'm just the guy that runs the arcade. Oh, uh, I knew that. Yeah, but pretty good costume, huh? I had you go in there for a second, didn't I, huh? Yes. Yeah, listen, kid, uh, the real guy is out there somewhere. You can count on it. And uh, he knows what you need. I guess I'm not that special. I'll never find Santa. Oh, wait a minute now, Vicky. Just because you didn't find Santa Claus this time doesn't mean you never will. But there's so many kids everywhere. How could Santa ever just find me? There's a special light that shines in all children, all children everywhere. And he can spot that light no matter how far away. Why, there isn't a child on this earth that he doesn't know and care about. You said I could find him. You can. Everybody can. Everybody can find Santa Claus. Whenever you bring joy and happiness to another person's life, you find Santa Claus. But I have to find him now. I need to ask him to bring my mom a present. Well, I have a feeling that Santa Claus already has a present for your mom. But I was wondering if, uh, what you're going to give her. Me? Hmm. I don't have anything she would like. Oh, don't be too sure of that. 
Don't you know that when a present comes from the heart, that's the best present there is? From the heart? Mm-hmm. Something special. Something that can only come from you. She likes to hear me sing. There you are. <laughs> what would you sing for? There is a song we used to sing together. Do you think that's a good enough present? Santa Claus himself couldn't give her a better gift. <laughs> Mr. Nicholas. Yes, Stacy. There won't be any more trains until tomorrow, but you're welcome to stay here if you like. Oh, thank you, Stacy. That's very kind of you, but uh, my train will be here any minute now. Where's that whistle coming from? That's the Northern Star. Man. She's right on time, too. But, Mr. Nicholas, it, that's impossible. Stacy Jones, I'm surprised at you. Nothing is impossible unless you stop believing in it, huh? Well, I you, I you, who, anybody here? Oh, good. Come over. Come over. Come over, please. Yes, gather around. Gather around now. I have an important announcement to make. Oh, oh, yeah. How about who's going to play Santa's helper? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hands in the bag. I'm the guy. That uh, sounds like an important job. That's yeah, the most important job there is. Listen, quiet down, everyone. Quiet down. The committee on which it has been my pleasure to serve for many, many oh, yeah. years. And yes, oh, uh, many did. considerations have, her, have factored her. into our final decision. Oh, uh -huh. no, no, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I mean, after great and serious consideration, the committee has come to a unanimous choice. Yes, yes. yes. That's because you were all offering your services. Right? Oh, yes. no. As your mayor, your elected mayor, huh? oh, oh, of the wonderful town of East Shem. Huh? I am going to make an announcement now, once and for all, about who is going to play Santa's helper. Yes, and it's going to be, oh, here we go, here. Me! What? Me? Why don't you tell me? I don't know how. Why not? Sing your song. To my mom? To your mom. And everyone. There's my train. <laughs> Go on now. Sing your song. I'll be very good at it. Very to be and when we find ourselves in the place just right twill be in the valley of love and delight tis the gift to be simple tis the gift to be free tis the gift to come down where you want to be when we find ourselves in the place just right to be in the valley of love and delight. Oh, honey, that was beautiful. Merry Christmas, Mommy. Oh, you know how I love to hear you sing. That was the best gift I've ever had. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, we shan't be ashamed to turn, turn. Mommy, guess what? Everybody's gonna play Santa's helper. Yeah, so we're gonna need a lot of extra costumes. Miss Jones! Yes, sir. There's a train leaving the station. It's it's impossible. No, it's not, Mr. King. Nothing's impossible. 
unless you stop believing in it. This is PBS. We hope the special lift you get this holiday season lasts all year long. Happy Holidays from Eaton Park.